फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट इंडियन रेलवेज सब अर्बन एंड लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस सर्विसेज डू ऑफ फिनोमिनल टास्क इन सिटीज लाइक मुंबई एंड स्मॉलर सिटीज रेलवेज विल बी एनक्रेज टू इन्वेस्ट मोर इन सब अर्बन रेलवेज through special purpose vehicle structures like rapid regional transport system proposed on the delhi merit route i propose to enhance the metro railway initiatives by increasing more ppp initiatives and ensuring completion of sanctioned works while supporting transit oriented development to ensure commercial activity around transit hubs we are in the process of completing the dedicated freight corridor project that will free up some of the existing railway network for passenger trains the government will bring in a new national education policy to transform india's higher education system to one of the global best education systems the new policy proposes major changes in both school and higher education among others better governance systems and brings greater focus on research and innovation we propose to establish a national research foundation to fund coordinate and promote research in the country nrf will assimilate the research grants being given by various ministries independent of each other nrf will ensure that the overall research ecosystem in the country is strengthened with a focus on identified thrust areas relevant to our national priorities and towards basic science without duplication of effort and expenditure we would work out a very progressive and research oriented structure for nrf the funds available with all ministries will be integrated in nrf this would be adequately supplemented with additional funds massive online open courses through the swayam initiative have helped bridge the digital divide for this advantaged section of the student community to upgrade the quality of teaching the global initiative of academic networks program in higher education was started aimed at tapping the global pool of scientists and researchers the imprint or impacting research innovation and technology scheme began as initiative to develop a road map for research to solve major engineering and technology challenges in selected domains needed by the country higher educational institutions are becoming the centers of innovation these initiatives have upgraded the quality of education there was not a single indian institution in the top 200 in the world university rankings 5 years back due to concerted efforts by our institutions to boost their standards we have three institutions now in the top 200 bracket in the world the government is proposing to streamline multiple labor laws into a set of four labor codes this will ensure that process of registration and filing of returns will get standardized and streamlined with various labor related definitions getting standardized it is expected that there shall be less disputes we propose to start a television program within the dd boke of channels exclusively for startups this shall serve as a platform for promoting startups discussing issues affecting their growth match making with venture capitalists 
and for funding and tax planning. This channel shall be designed and executed by startups themselves. Later in this speech, I shall deal with taxation matters of the startups. Stand Up India scheme has delivered enormous benefits. The country is witnessing emergence of thousands of entrepreneurs from women and also from the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes, most of them assisted to set up their businesses and industry with capital provided under the Stand Up India scheme. Considering the beneficial results of the scheme and strong demand for its continuance by the SC and ST communities, the scheme would be continued for the entire period coinciding with the 15th Finance Commission period of 2020-25. The banks will provide financial assistance for demand-based businesses, including for example, for acquisition of scavenging machines and robots. This government aims to bring greater ease of living in the lives of its citizens. Digital payments are gaining acceptance everywhere, including by the government. Use of technology is an effective way to ensure this. Pradhan Mantri Shram Yogi Mandhan was launched on 5th March 2019 by Honorable PM at Ahmedabad. The scheme aims at providing 3000 per month as a pension on attaining the age of 60 to crores of workers in unorganized and informal sectors. About 30 lakh workers have joined the scheme. For good quality of life and ease of living, maintaining a cleaner environment and ensuring sustainable energy use is vital. A program of mass scaling up of LED bulbs for widespread distribution at household level was taken up, resulting into massive replacement of incandescent bulbs and CFLs in the country. Approximately 35 crore LED bulbs have been distributed under Ujala Yojana, leading to cost saving of 18,000 crores annually. India is going to be free of incandescent bulbs and CFL use has already become minuscule. We will use the approach of mission LED bulb method to promote the use of solar stoves and battery chargers in the country to save electricity in the country. Stop.